everyone, Dr. Colleen here. This video is going to be all about hip mobility. So this could be used for beginner, intermediate, advanced. What you would do is just do smaller movements or a decreased amount of reps in the beginning. Um, I am going to still try to work with the 9 to 15 reps first set, last two being challenging but not form compromising and then moving on to the second one and then into the third one. There are some of these exercises that are balance challenge and strength challenging for myself. So I might not even get close to the nine and that's okay. I just wanna see if I can execute it in a safe um, way and not throw myself up into position. So always watch a video through if you can to kind of get an idea of whether it's appropriate for you to do these exercises. So since I'm combining all two, I'll give cues on ones that are more challenging. Likely you'll be able to tell by the look on my face um, how challenging and how concentrated I need to be to execute those particular movements. Okay, so hip mobility. First one here, I am gonna use a block. And you don't need to use a block, you can use a book, you can use nothing, you can um, I'm going to start with this foot here. Um, you can use a pillow, whatever it is. We're just looking for a certain height if you need that gauge. Okay, so we're going to be on a mat. Again, make sure it's nice and comfortably cushioned for you. You can support yourself with your hands behind or sit up nice and tall. Whatever feels comfortable for you, fingers back or fingers forward. Again, it's a very small movement. We're just doing a leg lift over the block. So we're going to come up and over and back and just steady your breath it's nice and slow and controlled so again these movements seem so innocent but it just takes doing four or five and you will start to feel your muscles working okay so that's that side and then on this side belly engaged Shoulders and neck nice and relaxed, sitting tall, feeling that chest open. Try not to let those shoulders come up towards your ears and squeezing into that quad and lifting that leg up and over, okay? So seems simple enough, okay? This next one, I'm going to start and maybe just stay with me facing the camera. Um, this is similar to starting a fire hydrant. If you've ever done a fire hydrant, hired hydrant before, <laughs> that didn't come out right. Okay, so what I'm going to be trying to do is really keep this leg anchored and not let my hip come all the way out to the side. So I'm a little bit wider, just have my hands flat on the floor and we're going to come out to the 90 90. now it is so nice when you have a mirror because see how i just want to do this like that is so much easier than getting into this position so this is more of a challenging one we're going to come out putting a little bit more weight in this hand flex my foot just slightly and we're going to lift and lower lift and lower so just around that 90 mark lift and lower breathe and come on down okay you're gonna feel that one for sure now you could put a bench or something I don't really want to pull out this ottoman right now but you could put something so your leg is resting on that and then you're squeezing up off of that okay so coming over this side this is my more challenging side that's about as high as i can get my hips so this is why i do these exercises for my right hip and down squeeze and down squeeze and down last one squeeze and down Whew. Okay, so you'll definitely feel that burning on the side. So if your range of motion is less and you're here, just work with what you can in that range of motion. 
again, we're all at different body types. And um, what I mean more like that is where we're at in our journey with our body. If we have an injury, if we have more degenerative changes in those hips joints, hip joint, in your hip joints, um, you might need to start a little bit smaller, opening up that range of motion. And then our goal would be to get that full range of motion. Okay, I'm gonna go to the side for this one. If you've ever heard of a donkey kick, it's gonna incorporate that with a hip rotation. Okay, so my wrists are under my elbows. We have a slight bend in the elbows. Remember any of us who have hyper lax or hyper mobile joints, we don't wanna let them pop out. We wanna keep them safe and start building them strong in a slightly bent position. But even for us who do not have that, we still don't wanna be locked. Okay, I'm gonna do the left side first since that's the side facing you. So belly is engaged, but I'm all focused on the hip. We're gonna rotate it out nice and slow and then close it back down. And now what we're gonna do is just reverse that up, back, into donkey kick and down. Okay, so donkey kick, we're usually up and squeeze. Um, hopefully sometimes you're doing a bit of a squeeze and hold at the top. But for these, all of them just slow and controlled. You're probably gonna feel the area shake and that's okay. So again, here we go, donkey kick. I'm trying to go real slow so you can see when you're about here, we're just closing back up the legs. Okay, and then reverse it. Donkey kick and back. Okay, inhale, exhale, donkey kick. Rotate it, inhale, exhale, close it down. And inhale, exhale, lift up. Inhale, donkey kick, and then back down. Okay, I'm just gonna do a couple on the other side. Hopefully I have enough room. And like I said, it is good to do these exercises in front of a mirror. I like watching the video as I'm doing it just to make sure I am not cheating in any way. Up to the side and down. Open up and back and down. We're also working on proprioception, so a good, I guess, to kind of look away from the mirror every once in a while and then look back and see, am I anywhere close to what my mind thinks I'm doing to where the body actually is? Last one, up. And I can tell you, if you need to increase your proprioception, training in your program, which is balance and knowing where your body parts are in space. Okay, so next one we're gonna do, one of my favorites. Okay, so first of all, let's, can we get down in this position on the floor? So if we have a hip that's kind of raised, don't feel bad, use blankets, use blocks, whatever you need to. My hands are gonna be behind me giving me some nice support. And again, shake up those wrists anytime you need to. Stretch them out. Remember, you can go up onto your fists if that helps, just to give those wrists a break because we should be gripping in the floor with our fingers anytime we're down on our wrists. If not, we do just end up putting some weight. And sometimes that happens when we're so deep in thought with a movement that we're doing, we forget to grip our fingers. So then you can just come up onto your fists. Okay, so you just need a little bit of room in front of you because you don't always land in the same position. See, I'm kind of coming off the mat even. And you can just move this with your flow of breath. Inhales and exhales. And again, when one comes over, I really don't feel much of a stretch in my left hip. When I come over this way, I definitely feel it into my right hip, okay? 
might also feel a little bit of zingers going down um, as long as they're just little and minute that's just opening things up and getting them moving so don't be alarmed by those okay rainbow side up and over the block so i'm going to do it on this side okay so rainbow is usually done behind you and you do a nice big like that table arch back and behind so i'm just calling this a side rainbow again toe can be pointed or flexed get a good distance hands down or on your or um on your fist and I'm going to start with my foot behind it and again try to keep this leg it so wants to go over there because then I can um, I can just recruit different muscles and uh, more muscles not the muscles I want to work so really try to anchor that and then it's a slow and lift I do have to go skinnier Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Whew, yeah, really feeling that one. If anything cramps, because that's what's happening right now, just stop, give it a little shake. Don't really want to be going this high, but I want the skinniness of it. And down and over. And there we go. Okay. Shuffle over to the other side. Okay, get my arms anchored. Get my foot out. Try to get this supporting leg straight. And then lifting. There we are. So don't worry that you have to kind of move to find out where you need to put that weight to avoid yourself. And there we go. And smile as I go through this. Whew. Whew. Okay. I probably don't even need the block for that. But I was trying to just give a visual on the camera. And as you can tell, whew, that was a good one. Okay. So, I'm going to do this one from the front, even though we did it on the side, but we're going to go back to donkey kick. So that's the starting point of it. We're going to do that hip rotation, but end with a leg extension out to the side. Okay, so let me get straight here. About hip width apart, foot is slightly flexed. I'm going to go left first. So I'm in donkey. We're going to rotate out to that side not to cheat and then extend out and then come back donkey and back down donkey rotate kick in donkey and back okay now I'll show it might be just better to see from the side okay donkey kick out and whoop, too far. Donkey and back down. And then on this side, belly engage, shoulders down, everything nice and relaxed. Hey, pigs. Hi. She's watching me from over there because we have the tree up instead of her chair. So she's safe. Okay. I'm sorry, pigs. Out to donkey. Rotate, kick out, in, donkey, and back down. Kick up, out to the side, kick out, in, donkey, back in. So this is my side that I'm always working. And back down, so send love. Send love to the areas that we are needing to do, need a little bit more help to move through. Okay. This over here. Okay. 
Okay, so my feet are just out in front. You can kind of see my toes at the end. I'm gonna move a little bit forward. Okay, so hands can be in prayer position. Please help me, God, get through this. Um, or just um, relaxed or clasped or whatever works for you. Okay, so we're gonna inhale, pull this leg back and come back up. Nice and slow. I'm just gonna alternate. A lot of these I do alternate because they're so challenging, but that all depends on what I'm trying to train. In the beginning stages, I alternated, you know, just building strength, just creating communication, just creating the muscle memory to those movements. And then if I want to build up endurance in them, I would have to change and do more unilateral training from side to side. Now, again, I still work out heavily with my girl linked below, Miss Kaylee Cohen. And so she changes that up for me based on her workouts, whether it's a more of a strength focused, increasing strength, hypertrophy, hypertrophy, or are we doing some endurance training? And then come back to center. Okay, so nice, slow and controlled. You saw that range of motion. You know, if you're all the way out here at the end, just use your hands to support yourself. And if you have to use your leg, or sorry, hand to bring your leg back to the front. Like if it's not strong enough yet, we can definitely help and guide as we start that communication overwards. Because again, like I've said in other videos, we predominantly use certain muscles and these ones get deconditioned because unless we're training them or doing some sort of sport, um, they get left behind because they're stabilizers and they're for different movements, cutting, um, pivoting, things like that. So if we're not doing that throughout the day, they will become deconditioned. We will be over conditioned in the larger muscle groups. Okay, so that was that one. There's still more to go. Okay, so this one, so here we did windshield wiper. I don't know if I said windshield wiper. I don't think I did. Um, this one, we are gonna use our hands a little bit to help us. It's, they're tucked in a bit more. We're gonna come forward and switch. I'd rather be on my mat for my knees. So make sure your knees feel supported on carpet. And then we're gonna come back down. Inhale, exhale, inhale. And I'm just light on my fingers just to take a little bit of weight off. And inhale, exhale. And again, inhale, exhale. That one just feels really good. Okay. All right. Next one, we're going to have one leg out if you can. If not, have it bent out to the side, supported with a blanket or a block, um, or even bent in front of you. And just turn this way. We're going to come. Bring this one across as far as you can. You're gonna squeeze it into your body. And then we're gonna figure for it down and you're not cranking down on it, but we're just giving a little bit of pressure or just sitting up that much taller. And then pull it in and then extend and drop it down. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Switching over to the other side. Inhale, exhale. Again, one side is likely going to be tighter than the other. Don't force it to try to match the other one. But again, if you have a journal or you like to keep track of things, can always make note left to right front to back what muscles seem tighter which ones seem stronger which ones seem to have better balance and then we 
we're just working to, like I said, minimize the gap between the left and right, front and back, and balance. Okay, so that one feels really, really good. Okay, and oh yes, this one, this one feels good too. Okay, so we're kind of in that first position we were in when we were doing the lean forward and switching the legs. I'm gonna take my hand, cup it under my ankle. And again, this might be a very small movement. This might be all that you're doing for this movement. Okay, and we're just giving rotation into there. And then if you can come a little bit further, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. More is not better. Your body is your body. My body is my body. Okay, let's switch sides. So listen to your body and side to side might be different. So you can always start off slower and see as it warms. Exhale. If you can get a little bit more rotation into that hip. And again, watch your back too. We don't want to be arching it too much. So keep that belly engaged, shoulders relax, and that, you know, cranking up on this. I'm really kind of getting a, a mini bicep workout with this against my body weight. That one, that one just feels really, really good. So some of these, you know, I could just I can do all the nine to 15, three sets and others. I'll be lucky if I get through one set and that's okay. Okay, oh yeah, this one. So again, in the similar position, you can have your feet a little more staggered out if that's comfortable for you. And whatever is the front foot, you're gonna to turn towards that knee, fingertips, palms, or fists. And we're just gonna lean down and then come on up and then lean down and again if it, extending the arms does not work for you just stay in this position inhale and exhale inhale and exhale Okay, let's switch over to the other side. See, already on this side, I feel the stretch more. So I'm going to inhale and exhale. And then inhale. And again, no hands, we're just lifting. And if this is as far as you get, do it. Come here and then lift up. And then over time, you're gonna see, can I get down a little bit more? And that's the whole point is we're doing mobility. Just remembering where you're at, how you got there, and what the integrity of everything going on here, how much you might need to undo or retrain. Okay. All right, this is one that is super challenging for me. I'm gonna go nice and slow, so I would consider this more of an advanced, um, just because it's difficult for me, I guess. Some people might be like, um, be like, well, that was no problem at all. But again, that could be all these exercises as we go through. Okay, so again, I'm coming into that prayer position and we're gonna come forward and you're gonna lose the top of me and then a slow lower down. And again, I am leaning forward, but I'm trying not to throw myself up to I'm really squeezing and contracting and then attempting to lower back down. Let's see if I can do this side. So yeah, shake it out from all the mobility and the strengthening this side is always talking to me more um, throughout it, but then it always feels nice and loose afterwards. And if you can do Epsom salt baths, 
those are also a wonder after these type of exercise or pro adding these type of programs into your training program. Okay, inhale, exhale, and lower back down. So this is me using my left side in a different way, which is stronger on my right, even though this is a tighter um, side. These ones are weaker on this side in different ways. Okay, but we got two each, two out on each side, so I am happy with that. And I'm nice and balanced. So again, try one. If it even feels okay, you could even start um, with hands not in any position, in like prayer position or up above. You could just start by leaning forward and see what does it feel like to kind of, so I didn't have too much weight in my hands, but I'm leaning far enough forward and then squeezing through this leg to push up into it, but also using my hands to assist, okay? So if you get in this position, you're just like, I'm not moving at all. Try this, bring the hands forward, lean. Like I am almost directly over the, the thigh on this foot. You can see this side's gonna be a little bit, just my more challenging side. And then lift, squeeze, and push. And again, it looks like I'm doing a lot with my arms. I'm, I'm trying not to do anything, but I do want to take some of that weight and then give me that little assistance to get up, okay? And then maybe it's just here first, just rocking forward and feeling what would it feel like if I came up off the floor? And again, like I said, for some of you, you might have just popped right up off the floor and that wasn't even a difficult one and some of the other other ones might have been so I'm sorry I did not slow those ones down but again all of these movements nice and slow and controlled because if not we will recruit the bigger muscles or just more muscles and they're not meant to do those movements and they'll get fatigued and um, likely injured so we really want to slow everything down there's no um, no need to worry about how many you do. We just want to first make sure that we are using the right muscles and starting to create that stability, strength, and mobility in those hips. I hope that was helpful. I know that was quite a few, so take note. Don't hesitate to pause and then finish out your set um, for ones or take, yeah, like I said, in that journal, take notes. You really like this one. This one really felt like it was working and add that in. And you could add that in once a week. It all depends on what's going on in your body. So if you are dealing with hip discomfort or hip um, weakness, you might not feel that. It just feels that they're fatigued or, or um, heavy. Then you do want to get these stabilizer muscles, these smaller muscle groups, assisting the bigger muscles. So you might want to add them in two or three times a week. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I really hope um, that you enjoy the exercises and add them in. I hope you have an awesome day. Bye.